Hello and welcome to the 8th lesson of the AGR SketchUp course. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the rectangle command. In order to activate the rectangle, uh, you can click on this icon over here, or if this is not visible, you could click on this down arrow and then um, click on this rectangle over here. Or you could press the R for the shortcut on your keyboard. Or you could go to Draw, Shapes, and you could find Rectangle over here. So I will press R for the rectangle. And now I can draw a rectangle in three ways, just uh, as we did uh, for the line. So uh, you first click and then hold the left mouse button and then move it to the right or at whichever position you want and then release the left mouse button. The second way to draw a rectangle is to click and then move your cursor and then click once again to confirm that rectangle. The third way to draw a rectangle is to click once and as you can see in the VCB you can see there are two numbers over here. Uh, the first number as you can see is the larger number is in the red axis and the second number is in the green axis. So if we want to create a rectangle uh, with the lengths of uh, 15 and 10 we could type uh, first 15 and then following by a comma and then typing 10 and then pressing enter key and this will create a rectangle which is 15 in the length and 10 in the width. There are another options uh, for the rectangle. You could also create square by using the rectangle command. So just uh, the same process that we did over here, we could uh, create a square by clicking and dragging. And as you can see, there is a dotted line. And when this dotted line appears, you can see that it says a square. And now when I release this mouse button, it will create a square for me. The second way to create a square is to click once and then move your cursor. And when the dotted line appears, you can click once again to confirm that square. The third way to draw a square is to click once and then type values, like for example 7 comma 7, and this will also create a square. There is also another option for the rectangle and that is the golden section. If the square is proportionally close to a golden section, this will create a dotted line for us and indicates a golden section. And we could create that golden section in three ways. We could click once and then hold the left mouse button. And when the dotted line appears, we can release the left mouse button. The second way to draw a golden section is to click once and then move your cursor. And when that dotted line appears, you can click once again to confirm that rectangle. And the third way to draw a rectangle with the golden section, this is a little bit complicated because the golden section is a number which is difficult to calculate if we want to calculate uh, between the length and the width. So uh, we can just type the value for one meter. So for example, I type 1.618033 and following by a comma and then typing one. And this is the numbers of a golden section rectangle. So I will press enter. And this will create a small golden section rectangle for us. We can also create squares inside of rectangles. So for example, we can divide this um, golden section rectangle and create a square inside. When the dotted line appears, we could hold shift and then move our cursor so it aligns to this line. And then we can click on this line. Now the face is divided into two sections. But this will not happen if, for example, we have a group or a component. So for example, I will right click and then make a group of this rectangle. And now if we create a square, this will not divide the rectangle into two parts as it did over here. And now if we want to move this, you can see that it's really easy to move it from that rectangle. But uh, this square is not 
movable. It's glued to that rectangle. So these two parts are glued together. So uh, I will explain the group and the components in future uh, sessions, but uh, this is a point to keep in mind that you could use a rectangle to divide uh, surfaces inside of SketchUp. So this concludes the eighth lesson of the AGR SketchUp course. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.